We're always looking for new ways to repurpose those antique items you have lying around the house, and you are really the best at that. So we have an old rolling pin, and you did something really quite wonderful with it. Yes, I, I can't take full credit for this. This is something I actually I saw on Etsy. I saw this beautiful rack. I think we have a photo of it. Uh, that oh. was great. And, um, an artist makes them. They're about a hundred and some dollars. And I thought, what a great repurposing of old items. Let me figure out how to make one of these for myself. And you figured it out, I'm sure. Yes, I did. Oh, look who it okay. is. Okay. I had to put on a better shirt. I was like sweating through You're that. A I love the fact yeah. you have two pink shirts ready to go. Look at, what man? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is. I love this idea, by the way. Uh, we we talked to some Facebook viewers, or they shared some pictures with us. Did you go through those yet? Because we have not so, yet. Oh, you just, no, you're just in they're time. They're really cool ideas. This is um, this is from stuff that they had lying around their house right. that they sort of took this vintage idea. That yeah, the had. idea of taking things that you have that are familiar that you find at secondhand stores and turning them into something. We asked, what do people have at home? Right. Well, we have photos to share. Emily Spackman has. This is an door knob. Oh, uh, that's collection. It's adorable. Yeah. It's Isn't adorable. Get it? Adorable. adorable. <laughs> Thank wow. you. Wow. I don't know where to go with that one. Barbara Kimbrough has an iron press. Oh, like how great would that be as a rack? Uh, my grandmother sure. has some of those. Those are great. You can also really use them for cool. bacon, Mark. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, bacon press, you put them on to keep oh, your bacon flat right. next to crispy. Oh, oh. 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 Okay. Wow. Oh, I thought it. having two, two pink shirts handy was a good idea, but that's Bacon better. press. Okay. Well, how do okay. we get started? Okay. Let's get started. So, first of all, you're going to want to dismantle your rolling pin because, you know, different ones are different ways. How does um, one dismantle a rolling pin? If you pin? have one like this, and if you can peek, there's a little piece of metal here. Mm -hmm. Schwartz, I'm not sure if you can see that. With these, all you have to do is twist them. And the handles will come off, as you can see, like that. Oh wow! And then you can just pull pull oh, this a, off. Oh, it's an all way. thread through there. Right. Oh, I didn't know that. So Wait. then, so other ones, like I'm going to show this one that I already cut. Um, it's an old-fashioned one. All these are are is a big nail shoved into a solid piece of wood. So you want to, to know whether you can cut them in half or whether you need to dismantle them. Oh, because otherwise you're going to hit metal. Exactly. Yeah. So mm -hmm. figure that out. Dismantle yeah. what you need to, and then cut it in half at a 45 degree angle. You can either do that with hand, with a hand saw, on a chop saw, nail file. If you've does got it the have time. to be exactly in half, or does it? If you do it at 45, then you can use both halves of the rolling pin. Mm -hmm. If you do it at something else, you're going to be able to use one half and not the other. How okay. do you know if it's at a 45 degree angle? Do you have a 45 degree angler thing? Yes, you do. it's called a miter box. Uh huh. Okay. Otherwise known as an angler, but yes. Okay. So you can mark that on there. So you're going to end up getting your, your pieces like this. Um, once you have all those cut, what you're going to want to do is get your back piece. And the one that was on Etsy had a beautiful old piece of wood, which mm -hmm. not everyone does. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you a little cheat if you don't have a beautiful piece of barn wood around. Um, all I did was I got these. They were each $4. And all this is is a one by six flat piece of wood. And all this is, you can look at that, this is a piece of crown molding. $4 a piece, and all you need to do is run a bead of wood glue here mm -hmm. and glue that right to the top here, and voila, you are going to have a beautiful looking old piece of wood without doing anything. So wow. I did that, okay. and then I went ahead and I started to attach my rolling pins. <laughs> And you can oh, see here, this, this is what it starts to look like. You got your 45 degree angles. So what I did is I just measured every six inches and I drilled a little pilot hole through here. And then if you can see here, I drilled a tiny little hole here. And now Mark, you, you know about pilot so, holes. You want to take us through what a pilot hole yes, is? Yes, it is when you're flying aircraft no, through it's a not. small, <laughs> small opening. No, pilot hole, and Ken's doing this here. First of all, you kind of want to know the size of the screw that you're putting in. And wood like this that you're working on is really compact. So there's a chance if that drill, that screw's going into it, it could split the wood. So you basically remove some of the wood, uh, not all of it, so the screw just slides in and out. Right. And now you've got a little bit extra. It's an easy, yeah, it's a little starter for the yeah. screw, yet it. I know that was over explaining. But that was explaining. Uh, explaining it. <laughs> all right, so we've got a screw here, Mark, if you okay. want to start on the back here and just start through our pilot hole. Okay. And th the way to do this is to get the screw almost through, little point coming out, and then you're just going to line up the little pilot hole that you already did, and you're just going to line it up right on that little hole that Mark is doing, mm -hmm. and then he's going to do it the rest of the way. And you're done. Voila. So we're going to do it with the last one here. Okay. There you go, Mark. Okay, I'll put that there. And what I love about this is, you know, for me, rolling pins have a lot of... They signify warmth and the kitchen. My grandmother always had a beautiful old wood one. So this, 
Yep. Really has a lot of sentimental value to me. And there you go. Look at so that. So now all we need to do is go over here. I just stapled some wire onto the back. Yeah, I wouldn't okay. want to paint. You want to leave those. Their right. Color. You want to leave those their natural color. A. That is. Voila! Fantastic. We have a place for our cute little aprons. Warm. Like that. How That's adorable right. of that. And you how easy. You know what? Easy. I could I could hang my third pink shirt from that. I could have handy packed up.